What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year. It's been a minute since we've been on here kind of doing some updates, but it's not without lack of effort. We just have been so busy and we've got a lot of stuff lined up for this year and we're getting ready to come to you with some finished tour videos and things like that for several of our projects. Now we're back here today at the Lucas Barn Dominion and as you can see behind me we've been making some progress over here we've got sheeting going on got the guys working here today as well and uh, we're going to get inside show you kind of some of uh, the progress here hope you enjoy this video let's get it going All right, so first of all, let me just kind of show you guys this, this beautiful grand porch that we got here. This is the back of the house. And I don't know that we spent a lot of time talking about this, but this here, um, we did have some stone here, but some of the, the, the specs and details, we break this off because this is gonna be a closed in screen porch, which we're getting ready to be working here on this area and to finalize uh, this part of the progress. Um, but looking back on this side, this is off of the main living area where you have this big grand porch. Uh, there's gonna be some uh, more lighting and things like that that go up here. But this over here will be more of a private area off of, I don't know that it's gonna be private, it's gonna have a little fenced in area for like a uh, uh, pet, the dogs, stuff like that gonna go down here so there'll be a little like wrought iron top fence there and you'll have these grand doors that open up into the living area um, but right now it's of course all open which feels really nice the way it is but this each each part of this big porch is gonna have its own uh, you know use so also out here you can see we're already ready for electrical all the underground's been here right now, we're just waiting for them to give the green light so we can come uh, get the meter set for the main power on this build. And then we'll be working to get our climate controlled, all that stuff is, as soon as possible so we can uh, start working on the finished floors and things like that in here. So let's go on inside. I wanna show you guys a little bit what's going on. And before we're done, maybe we'll go back to the front. I'll show you where we're working out there on the front side. So um, let's go check it out. All right, so first thing you should notice when we come in uh, to the house is that we have eight foot doors pretty much throughout. This door goes out to the garage. This one's gonna go out to that screened in back porch. This one leads up to the unfinished attic or storage area or additional finish out room for later. Um, we have countertops in now. Uh, this is the utility room. We've got laundry, covered uh, laundry, uh, covered, uh, what do you call it? Countertop over top of where our uh, washer and dryer is gonna go. There'll be another refrigerator in here as well. Uh, but you can kind of, kind of start seeing what's going on here. We got some finished painted cabinets. Plumber's already been out. We've got some, some of those trims going in. And walking through here, uh, you can see we've got textured walls, we've got painted walls, we've got painted trim. Um, this here is gonna be a stain top. It is stain top, it's just under this cover. And you're seeing some of the ornamental details that we're doing here with this gold trim coming in here. Um, and, you know, walking down this hallway, which is a good, good open hallway i mean it's like you know a six foot wide hallway we've got a guest bathroom off of here but uh check over here in the kitchen to show you guys what type of space we're dealing with in here i mean look at this huge island i mean i love the way this looks and we've got white painted cabinets stained vena hood top and uh, we've got the tongue and groove pine through out on the ceiling with some accented beams uh, all the way across this area, you know, with these huge fans up here, uh, can lights, 
throughout, and we have a fire sprinkler system in this build because it's in the city of Lucas, which required that. Um, and uh, just a lot of details here. Of course, this is where our cooktop's going to go. We've got a little bit of our countertop you can't really see, but it's like a white uh, quartz. You can see a little bit over here. And a farm style sink. Beautiful windows looking out the front of the property right here off this big double farm sink right there. Pantry over here this way. Look in here. This has got a little bit of a butcher uh, butcher block countertop here. It's pretty legit. And uh, there's a little bit of work left to be done there. So this is going to be the uh, oven, double oven set up there. I think we have probably a drawer microwave going there. Big refrigerator cabinet here, which, you know, even though there's a lot of things that are custom on this build, uh, you know, having a full wrapped cabinet for our refrigerator is sort of a staple for us. You're going to see that as commonly throughout our builds. Um, these are pretty cool, these big gold pendant lights coming way from up above. Um, that's going to be a pretty cool accent going in. Um, you know, of course, this grandiose fireplace here. Some people said on the last video, hey, that could have been bigger. Well, you know what? If you want to build a Barnumanium, <laughs> you can build a bigger fireplace. That's just your choice. So at the end of the day, we feel like this works really well for this size room. And it looks awesome. Uh, look at the windows display. This is looking back over where we opened up and I started you guys out. This uh, is looking back to the back side of the property. And, uh, you know, I'm sure at some point in time they could add a pool or whatever and front to back. You know, it's, it's going to be legit. So uh, I love all the windows. I love how all this is going. But let's keep going. I want to show you Master Suite. Some of what's happening in here. All of our doors and trim are in. All of our walls are pretty well painted. Uh, we have, this is where, this is all closed off. I think the last time we came in, but you can kind of see this is going to be the display. Again, more full windows here. We've got the doggy door going in here. This is similar to our Mansfield build. We had one of these like that. Um, of course, the bathroom. Starting to see a little more what's going on. Look at this antique glass type uh, window that's been set in here. Now that's pretty slick. You can't maybe see the details, but it's kind of got like this old faded blue paint on it. Uh, really cool feature. Uh, shower here is done. We've already ordered our glass. That's set to come in. We've got a double vanity over here. Uh, with all of the shaker style cabinets and, and then in here in the closet is uh, Some of that pegboard that's going in here a lot of shelving um, and This is going to be like the mantelpiece for the fireplace isn't that slick. That's pretty cool so And you'll have these corbels that will go under So looking forward to getting all that in um, we've got a lot of our shelving and stuff in here for some of the other cabinets and uh, all of the layout for the design, which a lot of this might have already been done. I think a lot, some of that might have been done, it just wasn't painted yet. So we're looking forward to getting power turned on to this build. Okay, this is like I call the, I don't know if you'd call this the North Hall <laughs> on this house, but coming in here, it's facing this display there will probably be something special going on here, and I'm assuming that's why, uh, Brandon, we don't have texture here yet. I'm thinking they might be doing something additional with the trim work, but maybe, maybe they just uh, waited on that, but I'm thinking probably some shiplap or something. But look at the display of cabinets going through this hallway, how much space we have. And I mean, you got a, like a six foot hallway, so you still have four foot here. And, and sometimes, guys, you guys get really confused with our distorted lens because we're, we're, we're 
trying to show you as much of the picture as we can, but there's more room than you think. Uh, but here we got like four foot between here and here, and then a couple feet figured here for the cabinets. But you'll have some adjustable shelving in here and a large amount of, uh, of cabinets going through here. And there's a bathroom right off of this, which you might have saw some of it. I don't know how much you saw it in this form, but you can see the, the lights, you can see the countertop and the bathrooms and all of the shaker style cabinets here. We also have another set of built-ins over here. Uh, there's a couple patchwork things we need to do, but you can see what's happening. So it's pretty cool. It's coming along. So this is a couple more bedrooms down this hallway. We've got, uh, I'm still missing this door it looks like. So this is just a double door. It's gonna go here and you'll have all of this additional shelving. We've got a little, we got a bedroom here with a full walk-in closet. Look at all the stacked shelves in here. So that's a lot of shelving. And you'll notice that we have this gap at, at the bottom of our cab. It was on our cabinets everywhere as well as in here because we're gonna have engineered hands crate wood flooring that's going to come in here just as soon as we flip the switch. Uh, we'll be able to come in here and start finishing that stuff. And here, these are pocket doors, so you're not seeing the actual doors, but these are pocket doors. And I think those are in, they're just in the garage area. But uh, another full closet there, as you see, see in there. So. Moving on, uh, all of the, most of the trim work is done when it comes to electrical with some exception of certain fans and things like that. But I'll take you guys out to the front, show you what we got going out there. Okay, so this is the front side of the property and we've got, or the house, and we have a porch that goes from one side to the other. And a lot of this sheet work has been done here uh, we do have some more trim work to do for the electrical, uh, but you can see what's going to be happening. And then these are going to get wrapped with cedar, which you guys might have seen us do that uh, previously on other builds. And we also have some shutters uh, that are that are going to go on the sides of the windows, which is going to make a, a another just detailed touch that always makes a big difference. So let's show you guys sort of how this is coming along. That we've got a galvalume colored roof. We've got all white trim and all white panels. So if we, sh if I come down here, you can kind of see a little bit representation of all of that. <clears throat> and one of the things that we've been doing is capping our wainscoting with an EFIS band. And this enables me to have a really nice straight line uh, so it is additional cost to put this type of a you know trim detail on there because it, it takes some special finish work involved uh, other than just masonry you know putting up stone but we kind of had that in our repertoire of background of work that I've done in the past um, and so using the EFIS is a good option as far as getting a straight line um, you could also use a precast. You could use something like that. In some cases, those are going to be a lot more expensive. But this is what you're looking at here with the white trim, the white on the white. And, you know, it, it, it just looks classic. It really does. And it has a, a, a whole different appeal to it. Actually pulling up, it feels like you're looking at a board and batten, which, you know, ultimately that's what these panels are made to look like. If you think about originally them creating metal panels, it's made in some form or fashion to simulate the feel of a board and batten. Uh, so from a distance, it has that appeal. But you know, the great thing about this, you don't, you know, there's no paint work and stuff like that that you'd have to do to maintain it. Uh, so, and this just goes to show you that on the outside of our zip wall system. We can do any type of finish on the outside of that, whether it's ephus, stone, brick, uh, you know, 
conventional siding, any type of siding can go on the outside of our build because we use the zip system on all our walls. So that just kind of explains a little bit of the versatility that we can have with our wall systems. But I hope you guys are uh, enjoying hearing about all that. Um, also over here, you can see I've got my garage doors in and you'll get a look at this end. Uh, these are insulated doors, but you know, there was some uh, residential style appeal that we added to this one, particular one, because they're a little more standard size doors um, for the height and stuff, but uh, you can get added direct decoration. It's just some of these doors, just a little bit more money. But here, one thing that's a little different than you see on most of our builds is we have some wood here. The reason why is because this was not built as typical to some of our other builds where the shop is all metal purlins. Like in this particular one, because I had a floor above the shop, um, there is a floor structure that's up there. So we built wood studs on the walls so that we wouldn't have to, you know, come generate that support in another way later. Uh, so that's, you know, that's why it costs more money to have that up above storage over a shop because we've got to put the walls with wood so we can run wood structure for have our supports for the subfloor up above. Um, so in this case, because it was mostly all wood, we did have some beams that ran across there for some of our support on the steel, which you could see maybe in some of our early videos on this build. Um, and then we wrapped it here with this, with this wood. So that's all we got here for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Uh, you know, we're probably not going to be back here until we do the finished tour video because you guys have seen just a little bit too much already. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to get you in here one more time, show you what's going on. This is going to be a beautiful display when it's all said and done. We're looking forward to, like I said, turning the lights on, showing you guys the full details on this build as we finish it up. So uh, I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.